mark. Tigers can tie or take the lead. Look out. As Wiggins went high to grab it and save it. Florida State really up the line, denying. All called for the offensive foul. And it was Darren Green Jr. again getting the call. That's a couple of offensive fouls again. Brad Brownell can't believe. Did he lower his shoulder? That's the second time that Darren Green has been involved in a play like that. I know the Clemson fans are calling flop. Oh, look, it's a Cleveland on the alley-oop. Morley maybe just a touch late on the toss. Tigers have it. Hunter swipes, recovers, attacks. Acrobatic layup ties it. Yeah, he's tough. He is really tough off the bounce. He's a big shot maker for Clemson. His career high is 23. He's got 18 in his first game back. Mills, three. Oh, that's big time. Caleb Mills from way downtown. 13 triples for Florida State. And the tuck comes to life. Connor, pull up. Jay, bang. So smart. Great body control. Gets to the paint. Doesn't draw a charge. Mills waiting on him. Mills. Foul called on Clemson before the shot. Seminoles will be at the line. It's Brownell. Mean mugs. That turned out to be a break for Clemson. Mills had knocked down the shot. Double bonus time for Florida State. Gravity kind to Cleveland's first attempt. He's been big time, hasn't he? Matt Cleveland. Well, he's so solid. You know, he he's just so good making decisions. A calming factor on the floor with a bunch of young guys. Relishes that leadership role. Called that players only meeting after the Miami game to talk about what they needed to do to stay locked in and the kind of effort that's required. They brought it here tonight. Hunter on the attack. The foul was on the floor. And now it's the sophomore from ATL headed back to the line. He, he, he is a gamer. I'm telling you, Chase Hunter wants the ball in his hands. You got multiple options on the floor between he and P.J. Hall and Hunter Tyson, I think Brad Brownell would have confidence in any of those guys right now having the ball in their hands. These are big free throws. Calmly buries the first. He's missed the last three with an ankle. And look what he's been able to do tonight. His last game that he played was against Duke. And before that, he had nine straight double-figure scoring contests. Had really emerged this season for Brad Brownell. He's got the Tigers within one. This game last season ended on a late shot by Raekwon Evans. An 81-80 Seminole win. Cleveland, mean intentions, Corrin on the follow. Corrin's been on the glass tonight. That's a big time play. Connor fouled again, aggressive, and gets right to the bucket. Well, he's so good at leveraging that shoulders and hips game, right? If he doesn't see two shoulders, two hips, he can turn a corner. The rim protection by Clemson tonight has been very good here in the late game, but the offensive rebound by Florida State makes it a three-point game. Home free throw for Hunter, who ties his career high. 
Clemson's got to really communicate right here. If I'm Florida State, I'm looking to drive it. Move it. Missed the second. Florida State with the ball and a two-point lead. Stan Jones urging his team on from the Seminole bench. Clemson showing zone. It's a change, the second time we've seen him in zone. Morley turning, passing, green, pump fake. Gets his man in the air, leaner not gonna fall. Tyson goes high to get it. What an adjustment by Brad Brownell. Hunter for the lead, no good. Foul called as Hall goes to the ground. DJ Hall go to the free throw line. Chase Hunter has a great look. It's a hard roll to the rim. I think P.J. Hall gets shoved from behind. It looks like he fell hard on that hip. This, this is a veteran move right here by the officials, giving him a chance to take his breath here. Clemson within one. Shades of last season's game in Tallahassee between the Tigers and the Knolls. An 81-80 victory for FSU. Clemson has shown so much resolve. If he misses this, Jalen Worley might be somebody you consider fouling. He did miss. Mills has the ball. Clemson has got a foul and does. Brad Brownell showing some confidence right here. P.J. Hall, an 82% free throw shooter, but you got to be thinking strategy for what's next. That's what coaches do. So Caleb Mills, who in his seminal career is first all-time in Florida State in free throw percentage. What a big rebound. Got two big ones here. Palmer knocks down the first. Now, if he makes this and it's a three point game, Clemson can come down and get a quick two. You don't have to get a three unless it's the best shot available. Now, they have taken a lot of threes tonight. So Bob Miller will check in the next available moment. Pressure free throw. Mills buries both. You bring him out because you need to set your defense. That's why you sub. You sub for the shooter there. Gives you a chance to set your D. Clemson on the road. Leads the ACC standings. Ranked in the top 25. Florida State looking for the signature win of their season. Hunter, blow by, kick, three in the air, no good. Shefflin chases it down, clock winding down, timeout, Brad Brownell. That is a big offensive rebound for Clemson. Chauncey Wiggins. Ian Shefflin. A 46% three-point shooter. Of course, Florida State is switching. They've been switching all game. Contestant, don't foul. Shefflin inbounding, Miller denying. Hall on the catch, Florida State fouls. Was that they a wanted, strategic foul? Yes, it was. And this is a play that Brad Brownell worked on at shoot around. They set this up situationally, knowing that they might need a, a three. They did not want to give up a three. They'd rather give up two free throws. And you're putting P.J. Hall, an 82% free throw shooter, who did miss one in the last trip. Knocks this one down to get Clemson within two. Caleb Mills re-entering. 
Baba Miller will run off as Worley will also stay on. The Tigers had heroics just two games ago against the Virginia Tech Hokies. It was Tyson hitting the big three late in that one. Do they have similar magic tonight in Tallahassee? Well, Leonard Hamilton puts his best free throw shooters and rebounders on the free throw line. All berries both. Clemson will get Godfrey back in the game. For defensive purposes, Shefflin on the ball. You cannot get beat over the top. And you're going to have to foul right away. E.J. Hall does have those four fouls. He goes to the bench. Nine seconds to play. Florida State gets it into Corin. Clemson quickly fouls the freshman. Now you go offense, defense. If you're Clemson, you get your offense. You get Chase Hunter and P.J. Hall back on for three-point shooting. Should he make both these? You get your best offensive players on the floor. Debbie, these are big shots for a freshman. He's not been to the line, but one time, he's 0 for 1. And misses the first. Okay, so if you're Clemson, you, you've got time here, right? You're going to have to drive it hard. Try to get to the paint. Chase Hunter is who they're going to inbound the ball to. You've got to secure the rebound, too, if you're Clemson. Silence falling. Keep in mind, Clemson has one timeout left. That's a big one for Cam Corrin. Knowles. Lead by two, Brownell uses. They get it into Hunter. With seven, Hunter drives. The shot is good, and the foul. He is their best driver. Florida State doesn't make him come back. He gets a full head of steam. Matthew Cleveland is on his heels in transition and the body control and the eyes on the rim and he absorbs the contact. Now remember, Florida State has no timeouts left. Debbie Cleveland is done. That is his fifth foul. Well, you got to inbound to Caleb Mills or Worley here. You got time for four dribbles before you shoot. Clemson's got to keep them in front, make them come back to the ball, switch on everything. Contest without fouling. Hunter knocks it down. Clemson leads. Tigers will get in Dylan Hunter as Wiggins comes off. One last chance for Florida State. Milled with two. Buzzer's chance. Worley, did he get it off in time? It doesn't matter. Clemson finds a way. Twenty-fourth ranked Clemson. They've done it time and time.